Welcome to the Baltimore Oriole Felting Tutorial. I'm Shiley from Sheepishly Made in MCS Livestock. Let's get started. So there's our colors and supplies we'll be using today. Make sure to watch the How to Wet Felt Tutorial if you haven't done it before. So first we're going to lay out our background color. So the fiber should be going up and down. So we pull off a little bit of our roving and we just lay it out in a nice, neat, thin layer. The second layer is going to be going from left to right. So we're going to do a little bit of our blue and then add a little bit of green in here. And for the final layer, our fibers will be going up and down again. So we're going to do a little bit of, of that blue color and then we're going to do some green. And we're going to make some branches. So I like to take this brown and pull it into thin strips, my roving. You want to make sure that one branch is coming down so you can perch your Oriole on it. And then we're going to add in some green for some leaves. I'm going to pull off little pieces and put them in teardrop shapes. Now for our Oriole, we're going to start with this nice bright orange color. And you want to work on the belly first. You can use the template to kind of match the size and shape. So you want to make a nice deep um, belly, the breast of the bird first. And then the black here is the head and then going down the wings on the back. Add in a little bit more black for the other part of the wings. And then there's a little bit of the yellowish orange on the tail as well. So we're going to start wetting this down. After we get it wetted down, we'll check the shape again to make sure it hasn't moved. You just want to be gentle when wetting it down with your hot soapy water. Make sure it's not moving anywhere. I'm going to take my bar of soap and put it over the surface and then we'll check our shape underneath. I'm just going to neaten it up a little bit, make our shape a little bit better. You want the back to be mostly straight down through the tail and the belly to have a nice curve from the head down and under the tail. And then we'll start felting. So I like to felt with my hands first. And this will get it clinging together so when you move to the rolling process, then it will stay together. So let's do the rolling process of felting. And then after you roll it, I usually like to felt it with my hands again, just to make sure it's nice and solid. And if you need to rinse out any soap or anything, you can at this point. And then make sure to do the fulling process, which you can find in the How to Wet Felt video. Once you are fully felted and fulled, make sure to rinse your project out thoroughly. And then let it dry completely before needle felting. So for needle felting, we're going to use similar colors. So we're going to start with some of the black and shape out the head. So I'm adding a little bit of black on the head. You want it to go up and around and bring it down into the beak. So a little part coming out of the head is going to be where the beak is. So I'm using gray for the beak. We kind of have a lighter beak and that's about the closest color. So you want to make a nice, thin, long beak. And then we can add a little bit of the black coming up from the neck. And on the bottom of the beak here. And on most birds, the head isn't too much taller than the top of the beak. 
and then going down into the back and the wings they have a little bit of a we'll call it a hump on their back and then it goes down straight into the tail now for their main wing feathers I just added a little bit of white here and then they have this little section of the nice bright orange feathers so I'm actually going to do each individual feather so I'm taking my bright orange and I'm just making long strips right next to each other they can they should be touching slightly and then get smaller as they go closer to the breast of the bird or get shorter so these are like the upper feathers in the wing and I'm adding a little bit of black to blend in coming from the neck where the feathers are and then we're going to move into the bottom portion of the wing so we're going to add black from the shortest part of those upper feathers of the orange ones and then it's going to come swoop down in a curve and then go all the way to the tip of that wing so the tip of that wing is going to come out um, past the tail feather here in a moment there so you can see the tip of the wing coming out past the tail and then on the back of the bird they do have this stripe of orange and then once we have all the black filled in in case your bird got distorted at all while felting <clears throat> I'm just adding a little bit more orange here for the top feathers and then we'll add in the white parts so they have the streak of white that's underneath um, those top feathers and the white is actually on each individual feather of the wing and when they close it it looks like one solid stripe instead and then these other lines of white or actually each individual feather so you want to think of the feathers coming down with that curve of that wing so here I'll be adding more long strips of white from the tips of those orange feathers and all the way down in that curve of the wing And now I'm going to work on defining the tail feathers a little bit more. If you look like you don't have enough room to do all the tail feathers, you can just show part of the tail and the other end of the tail. Sometimes you can just leave that off like it's outside of your picture. But for this one, we have these birds have a little bit of the orange yellowish color on the tips of their tail feathers and the rest should be black now we're going to work on the eye so i'm going to take a little bit of ball of black and just felt in it's already black there but i like to redefine it and then we'll take some white and define the outside edges of the eye to make a nice circle around the eye just a tiny bit of white and then we'll make the reflection in the eye with two spots of the white in the eye and 
and I'm just working on the beak a little bit more. Um, I'm adding the little bit of a black line through the middle of the beak to define the upper part and the bottom part. Now for the legs and feet here. Now this color is a little bit hard to see, but it's like the other birds we've done in the Bird of the Month series. If you haven't done them before, you can go and look at another of the felting bird tutorials. So the leg, they come from the back part of the belly of the bird. And they, you want them to come out on an angle and grab a hold of that branch there. So you just make one skinny part of gray and then each individual toe kind of curves and comes out of the bottom of the foot and grabs onto that branch. You can think of your little your pointer finger clawing around something. That's what it should look like. This color is just a little bit hard to see in the video. So I'm just going to add a few final details here, but that about wraps up the bird. So I like to add a few more details if I think something doesn't look quite right here at the end. I just added a little bit of my orange to those feathers again. And I'm all done. So if you have any questions, please comment here on the video. And thanks for watching the Baltimore Oriole felting tutorial. We'll see you next time. Happy felting.